Go, Gavin. Um, you and Brandon Carr changed, exchanged numbers. Uh-huh. Yeah. What was uh, that was an OG call, man. Uh, I owe him a lot of respect, and uh, I'm going to take care of his foundation for that. He couldn't let me rock that 30. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something that 24 you like? Or? Uh, nah, you know, it just was just something, you know, it's an upgrade, you know. I know I can't get 22 because Jimmy, but uh, I was looking right. for something different, you know. So uh, I went with 20, 24, uh, you know, so thanks to Brandon, though. What's your reaction to the trade? I know you've only mm -hmm. had a couple of days here for it to settle. Yeah. Were you I mean, surprised? Yeah, I was surprised, you know, uh, but it's part of the game. You know, you, you got to understand these things. These things occur in, in football, and you just got to handle your business. What have the past couple of days been like for you in terms of learning the playbook, mm -hmm. even though you're teammates? It's been cool, man. Everybody been really uh, accepting to me being here. Uh, they've been helping me everything if I need some help with uh, things. And, you know, we've just been trying to move forward, get ready for Sunday. Marcus, what have been your impressions of the Ravens from afar, especially maybe talking to Weddle uh, out now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he dub ha uh, he loves his organization, man. He, uh, he told me it was going to be a great organization to come into and work and uh, be able to play for this city. is uh, is going to be amazing. Uh, you know, so he just told me just go in there, work hard, do what I've been doing, man, and uh, everything will be, be perfectly fine. Do you think your personality and your style of play really fit <laughs> with the way they like to play defense here? Uh, yeah, I think it does. You know, now we just got to just see it all just gel together, you know, uh, and just got to go out there and just play fast. We're always talking about how they liked you coming out of the draft. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like back then, did, did you get a feel for this organization or feel like even then you could have ended up here? Uh, yeah, I remember my visit uh, like uh, like it was yesterday uh, coming here uh, and just my whole draft process, you know. Uh, but, um, yeah, this is one of the places that, uh, that, that liked me a lot. Coach Harbaugh actually called me like a few picks right before I got picked and was just checking on me, seeing how I was doing. And um, But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, just, I'm glad to be here and just ready to keep playing ball. How challenging is it to learn a defense and the play three days, three or four days later? And does it help that you've already played Seattle once this year? Uh, I mean, it does help for me uh, playing Seattle already because I kind of got a gist of, uh, of what they're going to do. And then I played them recently last year twice. And uh, but like, I'm a pro, man. You know, pros, you got to come in, you got to do your job, man. Uh, so I've, I've been in a system like this uh, coming from uh, Kansas City. So it's, it's, it's kind of just the only thing that you got to really work on is just the, the, uh, the terms and things like that. But I think I got it down so uh, I'm going to be able to play fast and uh, you know do my thing. Have you thought about how good the secondary could be with you and Marlon, Jimmy, Earl, the whole group? Uh, we just got to see. You know, uh, the biggest thing is just for us to just keep going fast and keep, uh, keep playing fast and just go out there and play confidence. You know, uh, I'm going to be new. And then the only thing I ask them to do is just, hey, let's just communicate. You know, uh, that's the biggest thing. So we won't have no bust out there and, you know, just play fast. Marcus, I know you're obviously focused on this game, but mm -hmm. how much do you also want to show, hey, I, I want to be here beyond just this year? Um, my biggest thing is uh, I've been traded twice now, you know, so um, I'm going to my end of my, uh, my, my, uh, my rookie contract. So it, my biggest thing is just me just keep doing what I can do and control what I can control, you know, um, and just be grateful for the opportunity to be able to play football, man. Who knows what 26-year-old Marcus Peters would be doing in Oakland, California right now. You feel me? So I'm, I'm doing something uh, that I love to do right now. I'm passionate about it, and I'm able to take care of my family doing it. So I'm just going to keep doing what I need to do. Uh, Les Snead said it was one of the toughest calls he had to make to tell you. Was mm -hmm. it a tough call for you, or was it an emotional uh, phone conversation? I mean, the, the biggest thing for me is always just leaving your teammates, because that's where you grow, to, grow those relationships. You're in the locker room with those guys. and. Uh, I worked with everybody in, the, in, the, in the, within the, the staff, with the media, and then just with the coaches in general. So right before I left, man, I just went up there and just, just told everybody, hey, thank you. You feel me? Uh, I know it was some things that, that, that was questionable when I first got when I first left from KC to get to there. Uh, and I told them thank you uh, for just believing and trusting me and allowing for me to just be myself. And, you know, I walked out of there with my head held head, 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 head high and uh, just, just blessed and uh, thankful for the opportunity. And I told them, uh, you know, I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks, you know. Marcus, when you take the field Sunday, do you feel you'll feel just as comfortable as you did last week, or is there going to be, I don't know, a little feeling out, just everything's so new? I'm going to be Marcus Peters 24-7. <laughs> it ain't going to end until I'm gone, you feel me? That's how my mom and my dad raised me to be. I stand tall, I mean, I, I do, handle my business, you know, so <laughs> can't phase me. Being a ball hawk like you are, mm -hmm. did, was Ed Reed a guy that you always looked up to? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just playing the position, man, and just knowing what he did for this organization, uh, you just be, be grateful to be in the same locker room as, as, as he was, you know, and you just try to just go keep keep handling your business, man. Have you ever met him? Nah, so that'd be huge. I imagine you will. That'd point. be huge, you know. So, But, yeah, like I say, man, just, just for me, my biggest thing is just to come in and just show the organization I can be myself and just play football like I know how to play football. All right, thanks, Marcus. Thanks, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you.